eight nine cool guy Tottenham fan. What do you make of your performance tonight, mate? Oh, mate, I'm not not too happy to be honest. The I know it sounds silly. We won two nil, but um, yeah, you were right about Jose, man. This <laughs> this was uh, this was kind of like the what do they call it? An epith epitome or whatever epiphany, epiphany moment. Epiphany, yeah, 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 yeah. So like basically. It, it shouldn't be based on one player, but it's made me realise something that this guy obviously has a proper problem with Tangoy um, and Dombele. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no reason he shouldn't at least get 20 minutes at the end of the game. Um, he, we, we have a problem in that we have Sissoko who does a lot of DM work, but he doesn't have the positional awareness to be an actual DM. So he's got no, mm -hmm. he, he can't pass the ball. You know, occasionally he might get it right once out of every five times or whatever. Yeah. He's very athletic. He puts in tackles and stuff like that. But he can't sit and screen the defence like a Mat Matic or, a, I don't know, a Fernandinho or something like that. So, so Jose is obviously worried about the defence, which I'll come on to that after. But so that means he has to play Sissoko, but he doesn't play Sissoko as a DM. Um, and that means because we don't have a proper DM, he can't play Lo Celso and and Dombele. That's how he thinks. But if it was a more progressive manager, like even Oli, you you would get both and Dombele and Lo Celso on the pitch. And that's all I'm asking for. I just want to see the front five of Lo Celso, and Dombele, Bergwijn, Kane, and Son. And that's another thing. Like, why are you bringing Lucas in? He's I know he had that amazing. He he'll always be a Tottenham legend for what he did against Ajax, but. He's he's poor. He can't link up. Do you know what I mean? He can't pass the ball. Mm. I, what I would say to Spurs fans is he's prepared to keep feeling that way. But one of the biggest issues United fans had with, with Jose is I can understand playing, for instance, a double pivot away with, with two kind of defensive-minded midfielders when you're away at City, when you're away at Liverpool. You know, Because Fergie played defensive away against our, our, our big rivals uh, many, many times. It's when you're at home against Burnley, at home against yeah. West Ham, who are absolutely dead yeah and it, it's so defensively minded and you know, we had kj on earlier and i think he made a great point that it's a good it's a good victory but you know the own goal is what was the breakthrough harry kane's goal came more because um the uh, it became more because west Ham then started pushing for an equalizer and there was the opening as an example and it's two games back and you're allowed to be rusty but there just wasn't the cohesion that we're used to seeing with Spurs. And, you know, even look, we, we were, I think Man United in the end were unlucky against Tottenham. I watched the game back and at least we weren't great because there were still areas to, to, to improve on, but there was movement. There was, there was opportunities created as an example. You know, you saw Liverpool's game, they weren't brilliant, but there were still loads of good little moments. I haven't really seen that much from Tottenham. I thought Lo Celso, to be fair, had a pretty decent game today. Some good passing. Unlucky not to get his first assist. Uh, it was marginally offside. Um, two actually when Kane put it past the, the post uh, yes that's true yeah so the, he had, I thought he had a really good game tonight I'm just I, as I say I'm just not convinced that Jose Mourinho is right for Tottenham in many ways and on the Undombele situation you don't play again until the 2nd of July now which yeah. is over a week away to not give him 20 minutes when or even 10 minutes you, you barely made a substitution you made, you made three substitutions tonight you kind of look at it and think could that bite you in the backside. Everybody's looking rusty. Nobody's looking match fit. Sessignon, uh, Fernandez, Ndombele, should they have been given 10 minutes? Because maybe that's going to be more important for the running. You know, you've not got... you out of the FA Cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're out of the FA Cup. You're, you're not in Europe anymore. You've literally got the league to go for. It was just a strange decision to me. But, mate, listen, I appreciate you coming on, as always, and having your say, mate, and we'll chat to you soon. All right, mate. Cheers. Top man. Take care. All right, bye.